I am a fan of this this uh, method of madness to get a PC card. Okay. I did this. I have not done this in a while because I've just been busy flipping and ripping and doing stupid stuff. But there were three nice uh, Ken Griffey Jr. inserts I liked. I bought all three cards raw. Okay. And I, I know the guy, the guy David on Facebook. He sold me in the past. Always very quality stuff. Always, almost always raw though. Uh, three. I think they were all actually 1997 and or 98 cards. Uh, refractors, it was Top's Finest. There was a Top's Chrome Finest Moments Refractor, and there was a Top's Finest Warriors Insert Refractor. Okay. Uh, one of them was actually the Flare Row Zero. Flare, not Flare. Flare, F-L-A-I-R. All right. So I was like, you know what? Here's the here's what I'm going to do. I paid four uh, four fifty five for all three cards. Comps are about five hundred, but fine. Just curious, did you get this on a platform or this was just like no, a Facebook? Oh, okay. Yep. I was like, here's what I want to do, though. I'm very picky about my PC. I don't like cards 9.5 or less. I don't like anything 9 or less. I like unless it's a vintage rookie. Okay. But like for stuff like that, I want a 9.5 or a 10 for my grades. Okay. So I was like, here's the deal. I'm going to grade all three with SGC. 11-day uh, service, by the way. Thank you, guys. And I was like, <laughs> don't de brag, depending out. on what they come back, like a 9 or better, is a 9 on those cards is a nice bump in value. Okay. Over raw for that type of stuff. Sure. The Warriors finest insert came back in eight, which sucks because eight mm. is raw. Raw, the card is two hundred bucks. I'm gonna sell it to my brother Russ. I think for 175 bucks. Although he likes to talk about buying stuff and then. He, <laughs> then I love the other day he let it. Subject. Yeah, I forget, man. Yeah. I haven't really listened to your show in a while, and he kept talking. I was oh, like, okay. Don't start that I was like, you know what? That way, Russ. Yeah, go, go get hit by a car. <laughs> don't well, don't say that. Don't die. Like break a toe. Oh yeah, toe. Mr. Deed style or Big Daddy, get your foot run over. Well, he didn't. It was um, frostbite. That's fine. No, and Big Daddy, he got his toe run over by a taxi, two hundred thousand dollars settlement. Deeds. Mr. D's was the Blackfoot. Yep, thank you. Um, so I was like, okay, but but here was my thing. I want one of. Hopefully, they all come back great. But I was like, I just want one of these cards to PC. I don't actually care which. I like them all about the same. Quite frankly, I like the Topps Chrome Magic Moments Refractor the best. Okay. Got them all back today. Literally opened them t minutes before I walked out the door to come here to do this train wreck. Um, the Warriors comes back in eight. Call it 200 bucks. Warriors Refractor. Two eights so far. No, so that's the one. That comes back in oh, eight. First card. First yep, one. recap okay. it all. 200 bucks. The Magic Moments Refractor comes back a nine. Okay. So now you're talking probably 150, call even numbers. Okay. 350. Okay. I'm now into the big, the card I like a lot, the Flayer mm. Row Zero. I'm into that for 100, 350. I mean, that's $105 because I was 455 for the lot. That came back a nine five. Woo! I'm get, uh. So here's the cool thing: I get to keep that card, which I wanted to keep on anyways. Okay. This is just a mental thing, anyways. But I know a lot of people do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Instead of me going out and paying three fifty to four hundred bucks for that card, which is about what it's worth as okay. a nine five. Sure. I now am like, oh, I'm gonna, and I, I will, I will meticulously, like down to the freaking penny. How much shipping costs, fees, what I sell the other two cards for, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm now gonna own that other card for like 98 bucks. The uh, wait, makes the other card, the Flare is... Row Zero, the one I'm oh, keeping. Okay, okay. That stuff makes me so happy when I can keep a card, yes. and that's a card too. I will never like. I love old school 90s stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's a card I will literally never sell, but it just brought me back to like the old days of like this is how I got started. I want to I want to buy that one card that costs 50 bucks, but if I buy a bunch of cards for two hundred dollars. I can flip my way into maybe getting fifty bucks profit and having it for free. Nice. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I think that's. I was well, exceptionally happy. The mentality of the flipper has probably changed a lot since. It has, like, but there's a ton of guys that like is that. Probably the way the most guys are. The flip to PC is still to me the truest form of the hobby. You can have any true form you want. I don't care what it is, but that to me is still the truest. I'm gonna hustle, collect, buy, sell, trade my way to get that one card. I mean, and I was pumped, dude. It's three hundred fifty bucks. Not even a big card, but the fact that I graded it myself and that I'm like, oh, I got this cheap because yeah. I'm gonna go sell. I was. I literally when I before I left, and even Han was like, what are you doing? How old is that? The one that you have to get on? I thought you were like, how old are you, you child? <laughs> literally sitting there. My kid has my kids like got a shot yesterday. Has a fever. We're giving him Tylenol. He's doing great now, whoa, by whoa, the way. Fever. When did that start? He got all his shots. I know, but I mean, a little like, fever did... last night. Oh, Not bad. Okay. Yeah, um, I got my mom at the house. The dogs. I got a wife. A house. Did nope. You check I'm excited about my card. That eight to check value because I've noticed that a lot of the older eights do a little bit better than nah. like a modern eight. As far as I mean, pricing, it does better. A goes. modern eight is way under a raw. That eight, it's a 1997 card, is raw. It's 200 okay. bucks. Okay. 